today, we're diving into a popular post from the Reddit titled as, I lured a homeless woman to my house, hoping to fuck her. This post received 13,463 upvotes. Posted by Throwaway Bologna 8000, the post reads as follows. I, M43, did this almost 10 years ago, and it's something I've never told anyone before. It was hugely reckless, manipulative, and occurred during a time of rampant self-destruction and reckless behavior for me following a nasty divorce. I was living alone, and very lonely. Not finding any luck in regular dating or even one-night stands, I started using Craigslist and Backpages to find hookups. I connected with a woman, Michelle, who was in a nearby city and claimed to be homeless and looking for help. I'd seen tons of scams like this, and fallen for a few, where a personal's ad was really just a step one of a larger scheme to get some fast cash. I decided to play along a little and we chatted for a day or so. We were connecting, and I began to think she was telling the truth. Or at the very least a very consistent storyteller. We exchanged pics, and she was reasonably okay looking. Older than me by about seven years, but not some bag lady type person. Honestly not someone I would have otherwise pursued, but for the fact that I thought if I gave her a place to sleep, she'd be grateful, and let me fuck her. So, we made arrangements for me to come meet her downtown one evening and we had coffee in a diner. She was actually sort of kind of cute in person. She was really short, but very loud, intelligent. She was crafty, and showed me pictures of a bunch of stuff she'd made by hand like knitting and dollhouse furniture. She loved sending physical letters and cards in the mail. She loved handwriting and calligraphy, and said letters felt more personal than texting or emails. But she was also definitely a bit weird. I remember she had some really strong opinions about mundane food choices, and went off on some bizarre conspiracy theory tangents with next to no prompting. I chalked it up to her living on the streets and thought I could probably manage, a little weird, if it meant I could get what I wanted. I decided to roll the dice because above all other things, I was incredibly horny and desperate. I invited her back to my apartment, saying she could stay with me a few days if she wanted. She didn't hesitate even a second. She only had two small bags with her, so we grabbed those and took off back to my apartment. To be absolutely clear again, I was not doing this to be a good guy, or because I cared about her. At no point did I ever genuinely want to help this woman, or improve her life. This was 100% in the hopes of getting her comfortable enough at my place that we'd hook up. Every dollar I spent in gas or coffee was mentally calculated as a cost of getting to that point. Every kindness and word I said that first night was part of a larger design. At the time I think I was even trying to fool myself into thinking I was being a nice guy, but now years later I can see how manipulative it all was. I never intended to physically force her to do anything she didn't want to do, but I was most definitely trying to build a path towards us fucking, and I was definitely abusing a power dynamic by trying to create a situation where she was, one, at my place with no convenient means to leave on her own and, two, felt obligated to, repay, my generosity. So we get back to my apartment, and I let her shower, get cleaned up, have a late night snack. We watch some TV and cuddle up on the couch, and she's just incredibly grateful and also very clingy. She would sit really close, and at one point asks if we could hold hands. Later she broke down a little and cried because she said she'd not felt safe in probably eight months or so. She had been either staying on the streets, in shelters, cars, or with someone who was dangerous because she had no other options. She thanked me repeatedly for being kind and giving her a chance. Each time, I told her it was no problem. I was happy to do it. I was so glad I could help, etc. But none of that was true. I was still just waiting for the right time to see if I could pivot into something physical. She asked how long she could stay. We'd already discussed this before I agreed to let her come over, and I told her just three days. I had partial custody of my kids at this time and could not let her be there while the kids were with me. She seemed to swing wildly back and forth between sadness and gratitude, and not knowing what to do next. I couldn't be sure I would succeed if I made a move, 
so I left it alone. As the night wore on I told her I needed to get to bed, because I had to work tomorrow, and she said, okay, but just sort of sat and waited for me to do or say something else. I walked her back to my kid's room and told her she could sleep in here. There was a bunk bed and lots of clean linens and stuff in there, and, I would be right down the hall if. A comment from user Frugal Hustler says, now that's a confession. This comment received 6362 upvotes. A reply from user Mildly Agreeable says, I was genuinely invested in the whole thing. This reply received 2986 upvotes. A comment from user AVP2526 says, When I turned 18, my parents kicked me out of their house. Police escort and all. I became homeless while I was still in high school. I was the woman in your situation. I slept with random men in hopes of having a bed and shower for the night. Some men would let me stay for a few days. I know your intentions were just sex, but hers was to feel human, even for a moment. To feel like you're worthy of having a bed or even a home, if just for a night. This comment received 3964 upvotes. A reply from user Jetsetter Explorer says, My heart just broke. This reply received 1144 upvotes. A reply from the original author Throwaway Bologna 8000 says, I am so sorry that your life has been so difficult from the start. I hope that you are in a better place now. This reply received 155 upvotes. A comment from user Twizzylicious says, God damn this is deplorable and sad. Props for this being an actual confession instead of the mundane shit that's usually posted here. Left me with an uneasy feeling for sure. This comment received 5119 upvotes. A reply from the original author Throwaway Bologna 8000 says, I've been into a lot of therapy since then, to look back at myself and what I've done to other people. Deplorable is absolutely the right word. Even as I was writing it I found myself trying to present the situation in a way that made me seem like not such a bad guy, and I had to really shake myself out of that behavior. I tried to make it very clear that this was 100% not a forgivable or acceptable thing to do to another human person. But I know that vulnerable and marginalized people are very frequently taken advantage of and used. This reply received 1925 upvotes. A comment from user A Vegan Repair says, This is one of the most relentlessly depressing, but raw and true slice of life things I've read on this sub. That isn't some absolutely barbaric saw, abuse, violence story. Made even more effective by your writing style. People do fucked up things to each other. People are in poverty, homeless and desperate. And people just want to be loved and safe. Good on you for realizing what you did and seemingly becoming a much better version of yourself, and thanks for sharing this story. This one's gonna stick with me. This comment received 567 upvotes. A comment from user Let Them Eat Cake XX says, She sounds like a good person. I hope she found her way. You sound duplicitous. I genuinely hope you found your way, too. This comment received 1952 upvotes. A reply from the original author Throwaway Bologna 8000 says, She was. I think about her sometimes and hope the same, that she found a situation that worked for her. I am not, and have not been a good person for a very long time. Been working on getting better through therapy and hard truths, but it's a long way to go. This reply received 845 upvotes. A comment from user Salient Sazen says, Wow. This was quite a read. I don't have anything else to say. I feel a bit sad now. Thinking about all of the lonely people in this world, and all of the homeless people in this world, and what a world it would be if they just met and were honest with each other. This comment received 435 upvotes. A reply from the original author Throwaway Bologna 8000 says, Thanks. Loneliness can be pretty devastating. I'd been married over 10 years and got divorced. It was awful for everyone involved. At the time of this whole situation, I was still very much unaware of just what a toxic and manipulative person I could be. I was lonely, miserable, felt unloved and useless. It manifested in terrible ways. This reply received 152 upvotes. 
A comment from user crazy underscore ideas 404 says, How's the woman doing now? Is she doing fine now? This comment received 95 upvotes. A reply from the original author throwaway Bologna 8000 says, I haven't tried to contact her again, so I have no idea. I hope for the best. This reply received 71 upvotes. A comment from user Dumb Little Dumpling says, The honesty is appreciated. This is interesting insight in a man's intentions that I would think is more common than people would like to admit. She seemed like a good person and I hope she got back on her feet and got out of that vulnerable position. This comment received 225 upvotes. A reply from the original author Throwaway Bologna 8000 says, Yeah, it's hard to say. Nobody in my life knows this about me, and I'll never tell them. Makes you wonder how many men and women are holding this level of secret in their hearts. This reply received 86 upvotes. A comment from user outside underscore wrongdoer 340 says, I was really hoping this would end with you married her. I love a crazy story. This comment received 672 upvotes. A reply from the original author Throwaway Bologna 8000 says, If I'd written it for a TV sitcom maybe yeah ha ha. But no. Not a happy ending for either of us. This reply received 274 upvotes. A comment from user Mighty Morphin DKSKN says, It's so crazy to me that so many people are like, She would have made a good wife, or, You should have dated her, so fucking nasty. And such a perfect way to show how so many men think of the women in their lives. He would have made a terrible husband. He preyed on her. A wife is a not a gadget or a tool or a means to an end bc a woman cooked or cleaned for you. That's a human being and y'all are telling him he should have pursued her to marriage and she would have been stuck w a self-proclaimed sociopath. This comment section should actually be studied. This comment received 215 upvotes. A comment from user KITTYGIRL818 says, I've been this woman and I'm sitting in the dentist's chair reading this and literally tearing up, are you a asshole? Absolutely, but did she know that up front going in? Also yes, it's just hurtful to feel a genuine warm and safe human connection w someone in then get tossed away bc at the end of the day they think you are a piece of garbage that is beneath them. I'm glad you had a chance to grow from this experience and become a better human and a better man. Be kind to people please. This comment received 202 upvotes. A reply from the original author Throwaway Bologna 8000 says, I hope your situation has also improved. You are right that people are not objects to be used and tossed aside. This reply received 49 upvotes. A comment from user Deeznuts underscore 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 says, Confession aside, you are a great storyteller. This comment received 149 upvotes. A reply from the original author Throwaway Bologna 8000 says, Hey, thanks. I am not sure why I decided to write about it today. I had to spend about two hours to get it right, and I had to keep correcting my own biases to stop me from making myself out to look better. It's kinda fucked me up thinking about it all over again. This reply received 90 upvotes. A comment from user Monarchist Extreme says, Looks like enough folks have called you out on your deplorable behavior and that is right and proper. So I will just point out that even though you had awful intentions, you respected her boundaries. You didn't push the issue and you let her decide. All in all, a person living on the dangerous streets probably has way worse stories to tell than the three days she spent with you. It sounds like it was a learning experience for you. Learn some bad things about yourself and I trust you endeavored to be better from that point onward. I'm sure I'd feel guilty about it too and it's good to confess the things we are ashamed of when we know we are wrong. I hope you and she are both in better places today. This comment received 274 upvotes. A reply from the original author Throwaway Bologna 8000 says, It was one of many unpleasant things I did from that time, and not the worst for sure. If I avoided directly forcing her into anything, it was because I wanted to be able to tell myself I was still the knight in shining armor coming to her rescue. But that's all bullshit. 
I wanted to take advantage of her because it gave me control and power over the situation. This reply received 85 upvotes. A comment from user wild underscore wago 1332 says, I was homeless for six years. The scenario you've described is quite the norm. I was in the place I grew up. I knew most people. Although I met others through friends or by chance. I was using meth then, but had a great reputation of being straight up, honest and the only sheik that wouldn't steal from anyone. I had a vehicle then and would stay sober in the A. M. And make deliveries for my plug. It was nice to be trusted and not have to worry about doing sexual favors for money or my habit. Sometimes I slept in my car. I was selective of whom I spent my time with and limited my sexual preferences accordingly. I met a couple of boyfriends online and traveled to Texas and South Carolina to live with them. Texas lasted two years. All I'm saying here is if you think she didn't know the deal when she met you, then she must be a veteran player. That you let her decide to come to you instead of reminding her that you did this and that for her was a great relief to her I'm sure. The responsibility of the whole situation was shared between you both, so your guilt is understood but not warranted. I know for a fact, since she didn't steal from you or fuck you over in any way that she was ashamed of how she was surviving, and was very grateful to you for being kind and not forcing yourself on her. You have to realize that this happens every day when you're homeless. Men expect us that are vulnerable to be naive and well, dumb to the fact that they love pussy. When I'm fact we feel like we are taking advantage of the situation by using our body to make you happy. Therefore fulfilling whatever need we have, be it a meal, a soft bed, a shower, or just some companionship for a short period of time. We clean your house to demonstrate that we are not slobs, and to show appreciation for your hospitality. And because we know that men hate to clean house. So, the ones that are commenting how deplorable and manipulative you are I assume have never had sex, been married, or survived without the help of mommy and daddy footing the bill. Stop beating yourself up. She probably remembers it as a nice few days with a cool person that gave her trust and safety for a few days. Believe me, it's an everyday occurrence in the homeless, do whatever to survive world. But you do find very few who are honest and won't rob you blind. You got lucky. This comment received 157 upvotes. A comment from user dude that's whack says. Sometimes it really feels like dudes are only nice to women to fuck them lol. This comment received 99 upvotes. A reply from the original author Throwaway Bologna 8000 says, It is shockingly common. This reply received 19 upvotes. A comment from user og underscore IP filter says, Sounds like you missed an opportunity to forge a relationship with someone who was ready to take care of you. This comment received 235 upvotes. A reply from the original author Throwaway Bologna 8000 says, Oh, definitely. Even just barely knowing her, I could tell she was a giving person. Her situation that led to her homelessness was very fucked up, and she deserved so much better. At the very least she would have been an amazing friend, but I threw it all aside. This reply received 160 upvotes. A comment from user Kampswerg0 says, What if she got pregnant? This comment received 28 upvotes. A reply from the original author Throwaway Bologna 8000 says, One of a hundred reasons not to do what I did. It was a reckless time for me. I was fucking a lot of strangers, and not being safe at all. This reply received 39 upvotes. A comment from user Forgot My ABCS says, I appreciate your honesty op. What you did was wrong, but you're trying to do better. People make mistakes. You told her up front it was only a temporary arrangement. I agree with other commenters though. It looks like you missed out on one hell of a woman. Forgive yourself. Keep seeking therapy, and move on with your life. This comment received 63 upvotes. A reply from the original author Throwaway Bologna 8000 says, I genuinely hope she found a good situation. She was fleeing an abusive situation by becoming homeless. She had already been through so much by the time I met her, she deserves some peace and safety, and I hope she found it. This reply received 32 upvotes. 
A comment from user Intrusi says, If this was a book I'd buy it. It was genuinely intriguing. I hope she found her way and is doing well and I hope you're doing better now too. This comment received 34 upvotes. A reply from the original author Throwaway Bologna 8000 says, I'm better than I was, but a long way to go, for sure. This reply received 15 upvotes. A comment from user PocketSess89 says, You can try to feel a little better about yourself for not having straight out raped her but coercion is just as bad. I'm glad that you feel so bad and guilty for what you did. Zero sympathy here. You should try to genuinely make up for it by joining some homeless outreach programs in your community and volunteering with them to take food and blankets to those homeless camps in your town and help those people get connected to resources that will help them. This comment received 62 upvotes. A reply from the original author Throwaway Bologna 8000 says, Thank you. I have done a lot of therapy since this time and am trying to be better but I definitely do not deserve sympathy for this behavior. It's a very good idea to do some volunteer work to try to make amends for this and many other wrongs in my life. This reply received 15 upvotes. A comment from user Infested Growth says, Very well written, and a compelling story. What you did is not very good, but you treated her well at least and she knew what she was getting into as a homeless woman staying with random men. This comment received five upvotes. A reply from the original author Throwaway Bologna 8000 says, I didn't physically abuse her, or beat her, but I would not consider what I did treating her well. This reply received 24 upvotes. A comment from user whatever 603 says, Regardless of your intentions, you treated her better and with more compassion than 99% of Tinder hookups do. You honestly shouldn't beat yourself up for this. This comment received minus 9 upvotes. A reply from the original author Throwaway Bologna 8000 says, As I said to another comment, it could have been worse, is a terrible justification for mistreating someone. This reply received 20 upvotes.